Welcome to our learning to cook pizza journey. This is a tool I bought about two months ago and I've only used it twice. I am struggling with my dough. I know that my dough is really thick. I am trying to get it thinner, but it's, it's just more luck when I get it thin rather than, ooh, I've made this because I'm capable of making it thin. It's never like that. I think I need to use this tool a bit more. I am learning to stretch and I think that's really good, but it can be a bit soul destroying sometimes when you keep stretching and your dough really doesn't get thin. If you want to impress your friends or your family with your thin dough, which I'm gonna be doing this weekend, I just wanna make sure that I can get it thin. So this video is, can I do it consistently with this roller? So I'm going to give it a go today, a thorough go. See how well this stretches my dough. So I made this dough in a Panasonic bread maker, 45 minute pizza dough option. Then I, I put it in the fridge for 24 hours straight away and put it in room temperature for 24 hours. So I've reversed the process. I've reversed the proofing process for this dough. Um, over the weekend I used the Unipro for some family cooks and this does not fit it at all. It etted up basically the Pro oven just et this peel up. It's just far too small for the Unipro, you'd burn your hand off. So for my Unipro I just used my, my original £11 from Amazon peel which I love, which you've seen in my most recent Unipro videos. Yeah, I'm sticking to that one. It fits perfectly for it, but I won't be unfortunately using this for my pro videos. It's quite windy today, but um, I, I'm in a little a protected, you know, I've got lots of hedging around me. So even though it's really windy above me, I'm in a little bit of a dip here and, and the flame is quite protected. So this oven's fine if you can use it in a quite a protected area out of the wind. So I just, just want to get this up to the right temperature. But I think it's going down. <laughs> oh no. This stone does go down very fast. I must say, once you stop cooking on it, it just boom, right down. Put the thing on the back so high, it's on the ignition. Because it doesn't really, the, the, the knob doesn't really have a good setting um, positions. If you go past full on the gas on the knob at the back, you can actually turn the thing off by mistake. There's nothing to stop you from just turning it off if you put it to full, which is a bit. Mm. Right, my. It's going up now, I'm happy. Suddenly it's gone up. Right, I'm going to turn it down right now. I am not cooking this on high learned that lesson so I can see what it's like on medium it's on medium that was eight minutes it took to go back up to temperature eight minutes my pizza's been sitting there and you see I'm trying to get to that back bit which cooks quicker and as soon as I get a base cook and I can turn this which is about now. I'm going to turn it. Because you can see what's happening. Already it's like that. And already my crust is burnt there. So high just does demolish my pizzas. 
medium is is much better right I don't think I'll bother turning it up high because I've just had that fast bit of crust cook there without needing to go to high I can see that fast See how the base and everything is cooked. I, I'll have to check the time. It felt really fast, but then I've done that before and it's actually not been. But it did feel fast, and that was on medium. So let's see. Again, the toppings are cooked really well. I just love the way they've cinched the top of those uh, goat's cheese pearls. Base, giving that a good cook. And the thinness of the pizza from using the little tool again, my tool. It's very thin for me. So um, yeah, I'm gonna try that bit there. That's how thin the tool got the pizza dough. So that's worked very well, I think. Base is very cooked. That's probably the best base I've cooked in a while. Medium cooks it fast at the right heat of the stone and cooks the base. <laughs> you see the thin bit again? Very nice pizza, got it thin. Let me know what you think of this tool. If you've bought one of these tools and you use them regularly, please let me know what you think of it. Uh, that would be really helpful. And I like the base, the base is done really well. It's very nice. 